Hey everyone, this is a zombie uh, latex appliance wound and here you can see me applying glue um, down to the skin, it's prosade and I've just got this all sped up just quickly drying it you have to wait for the glue to turn clear before applying the actual wound and actually here you can see me just placing down the wound Try not to fold the edges over on itself when sticking the wound down. I'm just smoothing out all the edges. You can also do this with a cotton tip. And here you can actually see me, this is putting more um, prosade over the edges of the wound. It just helps blend the edges out a little bit more. You can see me being trying to be a perfectionist you also see me come in with some um, brush liquid latex and I'll stipple that around the sides as well it just once again helps blend out the edges just that little bit more so you can't actually see the edges like when they put the colouring on mind you this is only a really quick zombie wound so the detail is not exactly the best on it I've just sped it up, this is me drying it with a hairdryer And now you see me doing some colouring. Um, I believe I'm using a Ben Nye Death Wheel. It's a cream makeup or grease makeup, whichever you want to call it. I've just sped it up just to give you a basic idea. Once again, this is only really quick, so because uh, I just wanted to do a demo on how to do the latex appliances, just nice and quickly, gluing them down, whatnot. Here you can see me doing some red light veins. Or just like infection spreading out from the wound. If the colour is too opaque, the other thing you can do is use alcohol to thin out the, um, the actual colouring. Here you can see me coming in with my little blood syringe. I'm um, using fake blood. Just to give it that little bit of added gore. I'll stipple it around a bit. <coughs> oh, sorry about that. How do you get in there? Anyway. As you can see here, I'm just finishing off the fake blood, and thanks all for watching.